Commission of Refugees in the office of the Prime Minister, David Kazungu, has exchanged shababs with the Rwanda High Commissioner to Uganda, Major General Frank Mugambaje, over the alleged kidnap of a refugee. This comes on the heels of contrasting reports after Kazungu claimed last week that Rwanda security agents were behind the kidnap of Portei Sachizimufurate in Old Kampala, an accusation which Mugambaje says is contemptuous. It is very unfortunate and quite ridiculous as far as I'm concerned that some, some officials who deal with refugees, and I'll particularly mention, because this is, not, this is a matter we are going to follow, I'll particularly mention a one Commissioner Kazungu. His wife, I think, was being followed by some uh, agents who reported the, uh, the presence of Prote's wife on the bus. And uh, when she arrived at uh, Namaiba Bus Park and Protege was going to receive her, some two people uh, attempted to arrest him. What is Kazungu after? I will ask anybody publicly, what is Kazungu after? Why would Kazungu be the one to arrange kidnap? Is the one talking to Achizifra? Is the one now propagating Achizifra's uh, whatever allegations? Is that the job of a commissioner of refugees? The ambassador is not the appointing authority for me. I'm appointed by the president of Uganda as a commissioner for refugees, so I handle protection and management of refugees in Uganda. Mugambaje now says he's consulting high authorities in the Ugandan government to rein in Kazungu for propagating falsehoods. We are expressing our concern to the government of Uganda through, of course, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, so that, so that some people tend to do this kind of misinformation. Of course, we have a way we do it. We use our diplomatic channels. Well, I've not uh, had a chance to hear what he said. Uh, so I will not be in a position to respond to that. But if it's going through foreign affairs, that's okay. We welcome it. And I think it's the most appropriate uh, it is alleged that Portei Sachizimufura, a genocide sympathizer, was convicted and sentenced to serve more than five years in jail and was later exonerated by the Gachacha courts. He then sought asylum in Uganda in 2009. Uh, he was subjected to individual status determination by the Refugee Eligibility Committee, which uh, reviewed his case and went ahead to grant him asylum. So he's a known refugee to us. It would be very ridiculous for those handling matters of refugees, because they know this very well, they should not allow such fugitives to hide behind refugee protection status. However, Mugambaje now says Hachizimfura still has a case to answer, a claim contested by Interpol boss Hassan Kasinje. Um, we were advised that he's a free man and that Rwanda has no interest uh, in him. And as such, uh, protest was uh, released. He still has a case to answer according to our institutions and let the people deal, dealing with that go ahead and do that. I'm not aware of other cases to answer. The latest incident evokes memories of the arrest and extradition of Lieutenant Joe Mutabazi, a former bodyguard of Rwanda President Paul Kagame last November, which elicited a task protest message from the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. Shilandu